And then the Bombardier journey came. That was 1999. I decided that, well, I need a new challenge. I, how long am I going to stay with GM? You know, do I want to do this? Am I going to look for something? And then this French Canadian guy knocked on my door and that took me to Austria. So we talked and I told him how I do things. And their balance scorecard started with cost. And the second thing on it was cost. And the third thing on it was cost. And the fourth thing was cost. So their whole balance scorecard was focused on cost. I said, I, I, I don't do things that way. I, I got to work with safety and cost as a result. Well, we're, you know, we, we don't, we, we're kind of cost focused. And we're a Six Sigma company, by the way. We like Jack Welch way. I said, well, Six Sigma is a tool to me. I don't really like it. I accept it. I respect it, but it's not part of my, my strategy. Well, let's talk. So we talked, we made an agreement. I says, I'll go over to Gunskirchen and you leave me alone for two months. Don't call me, don't bother me. And if I accept a job, I'll stay there two months, you come over, I'll show you the strategy. You can either say yes, I'll go with you, or no. And I'll go home and nothing will be lost. So I went over. He had a tremendous amount of patience. He would call once in a while and just say, is, is things okay? Yep, don't call me. And after the two months, I made the presentation to him. Then he showed his mother and his father, who I'd inter they'd also interviewed me. His father's name is Laurent Baudouin, a great guy. He's a, you know, he's the son-in-law of the founder of the company, married to the daughter of the founder of the Bombardier. They said, go ahead. We'll let you do it. I said, but I won't talk about costs first. This is my balance scorecard, safety, quality, productivity, human development costs, and we'll make it. Well, that's history now because it works so well. They were so successful. We went from a 3.9 ROS uh, when Pierre, Pierre had this plan for 1999 to 2000, the budget that he put together for Rotex. He absolutely had no idea how he was going to make it. He just put it together on paper at 3.9% ROS. We delivered 5.9 that year because I embraced the whole team. I met with everyone. I met with every employee. I met with the unions, told them what we were faced. I guaranteed them their jobs. I said, there's 1,174 people and no one will lose their jobs. You will all have jobs. may not be in the same place, but I gave them a social pack. They came and supported me. They thought, crazy American. I was called the cowboy in the town. They said, this crazy cowboy in Gunskirchen. Think of an American in an Austrian culture in a little town like Le Trobe, and everybody's wondering, what's he doing? What's he going to do? He's going to give a social pack? Everybody's getting their job guaranteed? Well, that's kind of crazy. No one does that. Well, we made that, and then we did 7.9, and then we did 11.7. And in 2007, went back to Bombardier to aerospace with Pierre Baudouin, who was now the president and CEO of aerospace, to put OE into aerospace. That was, 19, that was 2007. Today, three years later, it's unbelievable when I go there. Everybody's balanced scorecard focused. Everyone knows problem solving. They had three Ps and the three Gs is almost. When I talked about three Ps and three Gs in 2007, they looked at me and said, the what? Three G's, three P's, that's important. Patience, passion, people, go and see, get the fact, right? Uh, well, maybe. That's almost like, in the French Canadian culture, it's almost like they, they were born with that today. So in three years, the evolution they've made is just tremendous.